If you're looking for games like Skyrim and have failed to find any, and of course you won't find any because there are no games like Skyrim out there. However, if you are looking for a game with an open world like Skyrim, where you can just roam freely going from one location to another and fighting enemies and collecting loot and upgrading your character without dwelling too much into dialogue and narrative, all the while vibing in a beautiful immersive world, then Biomutant might just about cut it for you. Yeah, the same Biomutant which was hammered on release. That's the one I'm talking about. But before you scroll away, please hear me out. I will take only 4 minutes to explain why this game is so close to Scar and why you should play it. In my 18 years of gaming experience, I've encountered till now many open worlds of course. I divide them into three types based on their purpose, Ubisoft style, Rockstar style and Skyrim style. In Ubisoft's like open worlds, which are found in many games apart from UB titles like Horizon Zero Dawn, the main purpose of the world is to give you more replica activities. These activities are usually what you do in main missions as well and serve as an extra time pass apart from the main quest line. Character development is not completely achievable by doing just these activities, they can however supplement character progression. Rockstar words are geared more towards detail and immersion and provide lesser activities to complete than Ubisoft style words, it's just that they hide those activities quite well and lead the player to them in more unstructured and unique ways without giving a list of activities to complete and thus avoid overwhelming the player with the repetition and hence fatigue. Then we come to Skyrim. Skyrim's open world is unique to itself. Even other Bethesda games don't have this kind of an open world where the character progression is completely decoupled from the main quest line and you can basically enjoy all the gameplay game has to offer and progress your character completely by getting new weapons and abilities without indulging in the main quest. In fact, you experience the best of Skyrim without usually indulging in any quest line and by just exploring. Like something like The Witcher 3 where the best way to find points of interest on the map is by finding an NPC and triggering a quest and following a marker on the map. Skyrim's character progression has also got a lot to do with why you find it so satisfying as you upskill in it continuously by just doing things uh, like while fighting a group of bandits if you land a hit your weapon skill tree will advance if you get hit your armor skills will advance if you cast a healing spell you will progress in the restoration school of magic and so on Now Biomutant's character progression is not as involved when it comes to skills. This war game also has some other flaws like slow start and not so good narrative and the way narrator attempts to translate what the character is speaking. The subtitles are also written in a similar way, though I do like the random comments the narrator makes in free roam. This thing has a mind of its own. That's a bang club where Toxanol used to make all sorts of splody things before it blew up in their faces. Also, the game simply doesn't have the reputation of a Bethesda of, rep of Bethesda to stand on. Uh, many a times we like certain games not because they are simply better, but also because they have a certain reputation which affects us psychologically, making us sometimes uh, like something way more than it deserves. Same goes for not liking a game as well, but uh, that's a topic for another video. In case of Biomutant, what it gives you is a beautiful post-apocalyptic world which feels a bit fantastical but is clearly inspired by our current real world, especially when you consider the overarching theme of the world, of, uh, of the game, of a world getting destroyed by environmental, ecological and climatic imbalance caused by the, inactive, uh, the activities of a corrupt organization. The destroyed and abandoned cities have a sense 
uh, of uh, serenity a semi-realistic feel to them of a world lost and now being reclaimed by nature the interiors are extremely detailed in many many places with some old world equipment like television sets or gramophones still lying around giving you a glimpse into the lives of the people who perished long back uh, and you can keep roaming in this world take in the scenes fight enemies which are surprisingly diverse and collect loads and loads of loot and use it to get super rich and super powerful by crafting devastating satisfying weaponry like uh, how about crafting a rifle whose bullets chain to neighboring enemies multiple times letting you kill multiple enemies simultaneously while you were shooting just one enemy I know the game is not as polished as some might want, especially if you purchased it on release at full price, but it has now received a massive price cut and still goes on sale every now and then. I say just give it a shot when you can and you won't be disappointed. I've clocked in 24 hours in it and might as well clock in a bit more, which is not bad considering its price. Once again, it's not Skyrim, but the basic gameplay loop in the open world of just looking around going from one interesting location to another, fighting a variety of enemies, getting loot and leveling up and getting better and better and finding NPCs and cute villages with their own stories and their locations, all the while listening to beautiful background score and taking in the scenes is very addictive and there's a lot of Skyrim in it, I believe.